Hey team, today I'm going to walk you through creating a loading animation with just CSS. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button for future updates. So if you've been around the internet lately, you might see a loading page that looks like this. What we see here is a way to preview the page structure before it actually loads in. This is a good way to preview the structure when you have dynamic data that you might be loading from an API. So how can we do this with some pure CSS? For this walkthrough, we're going to start off with a really basic HTML document. Here I just use fillerama.io to fill a bunch of content for my favorite cartoon, Futurama. I also set up some basic styles that let us just have a clean look for the page. And with that HTML and CSS, this is what we get. So let's start off by creating a new loading class for our CSS. We can start off by setting the background to gray. Then let's apply that to a few elements. And if we reload the page, we can see we have a gray background. So we probably don't want this text to show though, right? So let's also give a color of transparent. And that's looking a little bit more like a loading state. Next, we want to set a gradient for our background. So I'm going to paste this in, but we're basically using a linear gradient where it's going to go at 100 degrees from a lighter shade of gray to a even lighter shade of gray and back to that shade of gray. And if you reload your page, you'll see that it just might look like a glare on your screen, but I promise it's in the middle there. Now to actually animate it, we want to set up a keyframe. Let's call it loading. Then we can say 0% is going to be background position, 100% and say 50%. Then it's going to animate to 100%, which will set our background position to 0% and 50%. And to use that keyframe, we need to set the animation properties. So we're going to say loading, let's say 1.2 seconds. Um, let's say ease in out that makes it a little smoother and then infinite so that it just goes on forever if we load the page you'll notice that it's not moving but that's because the gradient is going from end to end so what if we made it bigger so that it got clipped and then we can animate it through that so let's also set the background size to 400 percent save that and then reload the page and we can see it moving now so it looks a little bit more like a loading animation okay so we use a static site to create this loading animation using pure css but how can we actually practically use this so for this next step, I created a really basic Next.js React site that we can just use for this demo. Looking at the code, it just has some of the same content as before. I moved the loading styles from that main CSS file to a style tag. And then I also moved those global styles to its own global style tag. And to show that it's working, if we add that loading style, we can see our loading animation. So if we want to simulate what we would see with an API, let's use the state and then create a set timeout function that's going to let us kind of have that loading time where we can then fill it with the state data. So I'm going to paste in this content object that I already created where we have our header, our intro, and our list. So let's take that and replace our actual content. So we can say content header for our paragraph. We can say content intro. And then for our list, let's map that out. So let's say content list map item return one of our list elements with our item inside. And just so that we don't get a react issue, we can set an index and then add a key. Oops, I lie there. And if we save that and reload the page, we can see that our content's still like it was before. So let's now work on our state. So let's import our use state and use effect from react. Then we're going to set our content state and update content state from our use state hook. Let's also set that as an empty object so it doesn't hit any errors when we get down here. Now we can replace our content state with these individual items. And then we probably want to double check that this is actually a list before printing it out. Otherwise, we'll get an error. And if we reload our page, we can see that it's blank, which is what we're expecting at this place because our content state is empty. So now let's use a use effect hook. Let's have it only run the first time. And then let's just update our content state and let's update it to content. And if we reload the page, we can see that our content's back after that state update. So let's also create a loading state. That way we can tell the UI that it's loading. Let's set that by default to false. In our use effect function, let's say update loading state to true immediately. Then we can add a set timeout function. Let's call that 2000 seconds. Let's move that content update into that set timeout. And then also set the update loading state to false. Then if we reload our page, we can see that it takes two seconds and then the content comes in. 
So if we wanted to do the same thing as before, we can set that loading tag on every single one of those tags, but that's not really realistic, especially if we have a ton of content. So on our main tag, we can say class name equals, and we can do if loading state is true, we do loading, otherwise just empty. And then additionally, we can come down here to our loading and we can add a few more rules. Let's say our H1, our paragraphs, and then let's say our list elements. Now finally, if we go to the page and try to reload, we still don't see that loading state. So what's going on? So just to show what's going on, I'm going to comment out this set timeout function just so we can see in the browser. And if I reload the page, and then actually dig into this DOM, we can see our elements, but they don't actually have any content in them, which doesn't give them a height. We can also see that we have the loading class like we would expect. So what we can do is we can set an initial loading state instead of that empty object. And for here, we're just adding the word loading for every instance that we want to preload. And since we're defaulting to that loading state, let's also default it in our actual loading state. And then if we reload the browser, we can see our loading animation and then the content come in. So if you follow along with me, you learned how to create a loading animation using pure CSS. This is a great way to add a loading state to your UI when an API is loading without too much overhead or complexity. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.